Hi guys, Fired Up Prepper here. I'm here at Walmart and I thought about doing this video a while back. So I was here picking up some printer ink and I thought I would do it real quick. Look, there's no excuse for not having the skills or the knowledge to prep or to get into survivalism or self-reliance or off-gridding. There's plenty of uh, magazines you can see right here down to right down there, the off-grid self-alliance i've bought that one in the past myself here's a new one i haven't seen i don't know how long it's been out it's probably been over a year since i've actually bought a magazine but uh the prepper magazine you see there uh survivor's edge there's another one backwood survival guide there's one i've seen a couple more up over here here's tactical if you need some information on tactical what else is there? If you need some information on gardening, Mother Earth News, I've bought that one before myself. Handyman stuff, the Pioneer. All of this is a way for you to increase your knowledge. And like I said, there's no, there's no excuse for not having the skills. You can get the information. If you'd rather read it, then go on YouTube and find it. So anyway, check it out. Magazine department at Walmart. There's plenty of information here if you're looking for it. Garden sheds and retreats. Hobby farms. Tiny homes. A little bit of everything. Herbs. There's another handyman one right down there. If you want the information, you can find it. Get you a couple magazines. up get down below make sure you subscribe comment share see you on the next video fired up hey fired up prepper here again so i came home from walmart after doing that short magazine uh stand video and i wanted to show you guys that i'm not blowing smoke when i say uh that i'm doing something i don't want you to think oh yeah i bet he does but i just wanted to show you a few of the magazines that we've seen there. I don't know if we've seen this one here or there, but this one is Backwoodsman magazine that I purchased. I purchased this one, uh, volume 34. That was Man, this is an old one. This one's November, December 2013, so that's how old that one is. This one here uh, is a little bit newer. This is Backwood Homes. Now, where I found these people at was at one of the uh, prepper... Uh, not conferences, prepper uh, shows, whatever. I'm not coming up with the right word right now. But I found these people there, and they're super, super great people. And so every time that I've ever gone there and I see them, I always renew my subscription, which I've done twice. And then, uh, so anyway, Backwoods Home, a lot of just good, basic, I mean, homestead, canning, gardening, uh, everything, building different things. I mean, great, great. Backwoods Home. I highly recommend them. Here's one that we did see at the Walmart. The Mother Earth News. I told you I bought one. So I bought this one back in July 2017. It's actually June, July. It goes for two months, I guess. Here's the receipt. <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. But anyway, so the Mother Earth News. Great. Once again, like I said, sometimes... You just like to have that with you. Because here's the thing. Why would you want to buy uh, magazines like this? What if it is an EMP? What if it is something that takes the electrical grid down? We lose the internet. You can't go on there and get information. And, and you're trying to learn. You're trying to get skills that you haven't developed yet. That's why you want to have physical paper magazines and books. 
Here's another one. I don't know if we've seen this one here. Uh, I think we did. American Survival Guide. I think this might have been one of the very first issues they came out with. Uh, this one was, I don't have my glasses on, Fall 2013. Here's one that I know we've seen, the Off Grid Magazine. And I don't know that this is it, but I know that I did buy one of the very first ones they ever came out, out with. Uh, this one is dated, what's the date on this one? I know it's not important, but it's just neat to see. Uh, winter 2014 is what this one is from, Off Grid Magazine. You know, and yeah, of course there's lots of ads, right? They got to pay for it, you know, so... But a lot of those ads are things that you might need or want. Here's one uh, called Modern Pioneer. I think we've seen this one here. I don't remember. I mean, at the Walmart, I don't remember. Modern Pioneer. So, uh, you know, modern ways to do things in the Pioneer days. Uh, here's another one of the American Survival Guides. Here's one that's pretty cool. This is probably... Uh, which one is this? This is... December 2015, it looks like. Something like that. Doomsday Survival. American Survival Guide. Oh, this is the same company as this one. Or the same magazine. It's just a different one, but it says Doomsday. 12,000 chemical plants across America survive if disaster strikes. So basically, the main article in here is showing you how to survive. Chem like what just happened in Houston, right? I mean, that was serious stuff. How do you survive something like that? What kind of gear do you need to get through that? Uh, this one here is, uh, this is a different one. I don't know that we've seen this one here, there. I keep saying here, I don't know why, uh, at the Walmart. But this one is from spring 2016. It's called the Disaster Survival Magazine. Disaster Survival Magazine. So five SHTF scenarios to prep for. An American Revolution exclusive letter from Pete Santilli. Bug out. Get out, of this, get out of the cities now. Blackout. EMP. War on the grid. High risk microbes. WMD expert David Jones. Boom, boom. Survival shows are serious business. Survival communications. Uh, expo. Maybe that's the word I was looking for. I went to a prepper expo. Uh, they usually call them like prepper and preparedness, uh, survival expos or whatever. I've went to some. So anyway, you see, you say, oh, Jim, you stuck a Trump sticker on the front of your shirt. Yes, I did. But here's the thing. When I bought this shirt, I didn't know that the MAGA, the M-A-G-A, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully, was going to be on the back of the t-shirt. So I kind of like, when I got it, I'm like, oh, man, that's, that's kind of crazy. So anyway... I think from the same company or another company, I'd bought uh, a few of these Trump stickers. So I went ahead and put it on the front. And then I got my new Trump 2020 hat in. So I'm trumped up, man. Uh, here's the thing, guys. I really feel that right now, number one, I am not a fear porn person. But I want you to be prepared. I want you to know and see what is going on. I just listened to a couple of videos while I was driving earlier this afternoon and just now when I went back and forth to Walmart. Uh, and I'm going to do a video of people and uh, channels that I follow on a regular basis, on a daily basis and a weekly basis. Because you need to know who to listen to and get the information from and stay up with what's going on and get the... Get the scoop on things like, you know, the Russia Gate deal and all that. Who to listen to to get the best information. But something that I was just listening to, uh, and I did a video on the prepper cards from, uh, from them. And, uh, you know, you get on here and then your mind goes blank. But I'll think of it. I might put the link down in the description. But I believe, I really truly believe that the world right now, not just America, but the world is just a tinderbox right now. 
There are several different countries that are just warning each other back and forth, saying, if you do this, we're going to do this. If you don't get out of here, we're going to do this. I mean, it's all over the place right now. Uh, in the Middle East, you know, Iran and, and just all kinds of different places are just warning each other. If you don't get your stuff out of here, if you do this, then we're going to shut down this. And at any time, it could go from nothing going on to everything going on very seriously. And I'm not just talking like a little boop, boop, little war here and there. People could are getting to the point where I really think, and I can't show you the book right now. I guess I could, but I'll have to hold this up. But I showed you this book, and I did a video a while back, Nuclear War Survival Scares by Crescent Carney. You need to get it. Just go on Amazon. But I really believe it's going to come to that. I really believe that, uh, and you need to get your potassium iodide. I, that's, that's the video I did, was on the potassium iodide and, and the book. Uh, I Because I think that, that just, just these little, uh, I say little, and, and I don't mean to disrespect any of the lives that are lost, or anything that has happened, but in these wars on terrorism and all these different things that have gone on, we know a lot of that stuff is so, there's a purpose behind it that, that they don't tell us. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into all that, but I'm just saying that some of these countries that have the nuclear capabilities are some of the people that are spouting off right now saying, look, if this country does this, we're going to do this. And I don't think it's going to be little. I think it's coming to a point where there's going to be some big things happening. Regardless, regardless whether I'm right or wrong, regardless of whatever, uh, just be ready. Be prepared and, and know that, uh, that there's not that many people. When you think of however many people are in the world, seven or eight billion or whatever it is, uh, nine billion, that very few of them are prepping. Very few of them. And that's why, you know, that's why you see all the statistics. Oh, if an EMP hits and it shuts out, you know, 90% of the people are going to be gone in the first year because they're not prepared. And uh, man, you know, Get prepared yourself. Get your family on board. Get your wife on board. Get your kids on board. Get your grandkids on board. Get your neighbors. You know, I mean, you don't have to show them what you got, but uh, let me show you one other thing. Oh, Brad and Kelly from Full Spectrum Survival. That's who it is. They put this flyer. Is it two-sided? Yeah, it is two-sided. Uh, they put this flyer in one of the, the newsletters, you know. And basically what it is is a way to help you get the word out to friends, family, and neighbors. It just says, are you prepared? Nearly half of the U.S. adults do not have the resources and plans in place in the event of an emergency. You know, and not trying to talk about the doomsday, you know, not trying to talk about doomsday prepping, but trying to talk about just something like a natural disaster, an emergency, whatever. Uh, you know, the fires and things like that. Flooding, like in the Midwest. Fires in California. You know, what do you do? Uh, and then it says, you know, just a little couple little deals. Store at least a seven-day supply of non-perishable, easy-to-prepare food. Uh, store seven days supply of water, one gallon per person per day minimum. Uh, according to the government officials, the a disaster could happen at any time. In truth, someone experiences a regional disaster every day on our planet. You mean a lot to me, and I want to give you this infographic from the U.S. CDC. Look, this was already made up by the U.S. CDC. I have already started preparing a bag with items, just like what the CDC recommends in this paper. I also included a cheap water filter and a way to shelter myself in case I am not able to get inside during a disaster. Please read this over knowing that I care and that I would like to help you if you're interested in, in making your own bag. And then on the back, there's some more, you know, covering some items that they get. So it's just a way 
to get the word out and and see if you can help some people get ready. I thought that was awesome that they that they Brad and Kelly put that in there. Anyway, I hope that you follow them on YouTube, uh, on Patreon, and if you go to Patreon and you're a ten dollar a month supporter, which isn't much, right? I mean, thirty cents a day. You'll get your survival cards in the mail uh, every month, and then you'll get access to. They do little skit films, scenario films. Uh, you can even act in those if you want. If you can make it to where they're doing or whatever, you can be a contributor. Anyway, I got off, you know, I regret, digress. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that I don't sit here and tell you to do things that I don't do. Uh, the idea, you know, I was in Walmart a while back with my wife and and uh, we, I, you know, I always look at the books and the magazines real quick. And I thought, man, I should do a video just letting everybody know what's available out there. Uh, you might shop at Walmart once a week, once a month, several times a month. I don't know. But go buy and pick you up a magazine and read it and get the information and find some, find some places that you can get some gear that you might want or need or want to try out. And that's it. This has run way too long. But I just wanted to do that. I'm going to splice the two videos together. I know it's long. I'm sorry. With the other video, it's going to end up being like 15, 16 minutes. Uh, and, but look, I think... I'm not going to sit here and say times are short. Do I think we're in end times? Yeah. But I'm not that guy, right? I, I just want to be prepared. And, and if you don't know my story, uh, you know, why I started prepping and all that... It's in my past videos, and if you and if you would like me to do one just on that, sometime I will. I guess I could do one real quick and maybe have it my feature video on my page, on my uh, YouTube channel. But uh, look, be, just be ready, be prepared, be be an asset, not not a uh, uh, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? I shouldn't even went there, but uh, not a liability. You know, when, when, when SHTF happens, when shit hits the fan, uh, be a, be, don't be a liability. Don't, don't have to wait for the government to bring you water, to bring you food, to, to go somewhere so that you, to a shelter or whatever. Have it. Have it. A little bit at a time. A case of water, a jug of water, canned food, whatever it is. Just get started. And uh, get started where you are right now with what you got and what you can do. All right, guys. Sorry, it's long. Thanks for watching. Uh, get down below. Give me your comments. Do you know what, what do you use as far as paper or whatever? I was going to tell you a quick story. Like I said, if the internet goes out and, and there's no electricity, how are your kids and grandkids gonna be, going to be schooled? Now, a lot of you I know do homeschooling. No one in my family does because we're city dwellers, right? Uh, I bought off of, I think it was just one of the, uh, it wasn't Craigslist, I think it was off of one of the uh, uh, Facebook garage sale things. Uh, I bought a set of encyclopedias a year ago for like 10 or 20 bucks. I think it was 20 bucks. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, right? Because if it does go out, then I have something I can tell my, my kids, say, look, don't tell them, oh, they don't have to go to school now because there's no electricity, there's no internet. We've got encyclopedias. They can learn. And that's probably better than what they're learning in the damn school anyway. Excuse my mouth. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Stay fired up. Staying fired up. Look, the whole the whole channel fired up thing doesn't mean that I'm fired up mad. It means I'm fired up. I, I inspire people, I motivate people, and I encourage people. It's that kind of fired up. You're fired up about just you're excited, you're enthusiastic. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that I'm a fired up, PO'd person, and I'm mad at the world. That's the total opposite of what it means. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. Get down below, comment, subscribe. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notifications. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Fired up.